Welcome to Catherine the Paint. Today I am doing a requested color combo and I'm going to test it out on a tile um, in a couple different ways before I move on to maybe doing a canvas. So we'll see. So um, Zahara's or Zahra's Z-A-H-R-A's art is the one that requested um, burgundy, navy, and white. So that is what we are going to do. So I made my own burgundy because I do not have burgundy. There it is. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I really like it. I made it out of Liquitex Basics Ultramarine Blue and Arteza's Crimson Red. So these two together made this. So excited to try it. And then I made a navy blue out of the Ultramarine Blue and Black. And I'm using Arteza Marsh Black. I'm almost out. I have very little black in this house. I don't use it very often. So anyway, here's the color I came up with. So. Somebody's outside aggravating my baby. <laughs> so. And then I made my topper. So that's going to be the white. So there we go. Let's put it down on this tile. I'm going to put the burgundy down first on the first tile. And then the navy down first on the second tile. So we'll do at least two tiles. And then we'll see and go from there. See what we think. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't know if this is enough colors to add a ton of interest, but I hope it is. So we'll see. We can always add a couple of colors to it. All right, let's let it rise back up to the top. Yeah, I think it's gonna take a minute. It's pretty far down right there in the middle. So let's give it a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Looks like it has risen up to the top. And I was looking at this, I'm like, the white topper looks kind of different than it usually does. And then I realized I forgot to put my men wax drops in there. So that's okay, we're gonna still do this one. But I added the men wax drops to the for the next one. So just letting you know. So let's go ahead and spin it out. And I'm gonna spin it in both directions. I don't know who suggested spinning it in both directions, but I thought that was a genius idea. So I have been trying that lately. Maybe it doesn't make a difference, but it seemed to make sense to me. Whoa, whoops. Okay. Don't go crazy. Still have a little ways to go. Hmm. Still think we should go a little further.
we're getting there. I don't mind a little bit of negative space, but I would like it all to be going that way a little bit more. So how about if I just tilt it a little bit? See if it'll slide that way. These colors are gorgeous together. You knew what you were talking about. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. All right. I'm loving it. I guess I should run my finger along the edge. And then I'm going to put it to the side. And we're going to do another one. Put some, I'm going to put some pillow paint down. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so now let's put the navy down first. And now the burgundy. Okay. All right, now it has the men wax in it, so. We'll see which one, which cells we like best and which color pattern we like best. Oh, I'm going to blow it out. Oh, it's going to start spinning. All right, let's blow it. Lots more cells on that one. So let's let it rise back up to the top and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start spinning it. Now I'm gonna go back the other direction. Calm down. <laughs> Talking to me, not you guys. All right, we're sliding off of this edge and this edge too, but the cells are actually going off this edge and it's not going this way. Hmm. <sighs> These cells are crazy. Guess I'll keep going for a few minutes. I may tilt in a minute if it doesn't start going off the other direction. All right, 
I'm gonna tilt that way. Wow, though. I love both of these. The burgundy seems to be taking over, I think on both of them, really. I don't know, I'll have to look at it again. I am loving the color scheme though. A little bit more, almost there. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle. Let's see if we can go off this way a little bit. there. It's good enough. All right, now we're going to bring it all back to center. I don't think I've ever had one look like this before. And I've done a lot of these. <laughs> All right, there it is. Completely, completely different than the other one. So let me just run my finger around the edges. And um, I will be right back and I will bring, I will bring you in for a close up. Okay. I made this Persian blue. No, it kind of reminds me of a Persian blue, but I was going for navy and then I, used a whole completely different blue and black. So this actually was Thalo, uh, Thalo blue and um, by Arteza. And I mixed it with a little black. And I wanna see how it looks with the burgundy. And I think actually I want to try using both of the blues with the burgundy and see how that looks also. So let's do this one and one more tile. <clears throat> All right. Er, stuck. Okay. All right. Okay. Slippery when wet. There's that. It has got lots and lots of lacing or soul action so far. So let's see how we got to let it rise up and then we'll see how it goes. All right, let's spin it and see what happens. I love what's developing here. This will probably slide off though. So who knows? Let's just spin it. <sighs> All right, 
now I'm going to stop it and turn it around and go the other direction. It's looking pretty so far. Yeah, I knew that, that part was going to come off, but, you know, hey, what can you do? Some really big ones. Interesting. Oh. Almost there. <laughs> Making me make funny noises. Seems to have gone a little bit off center, so I just want to pull it back just a little bit. And then we are done. All right. Off the edges. There we go. I want to know what you think. I will give you a close up after the next one. First, then the burgundy, and then the one with the thalo. So, which one is which? <laughs> okay, this is the original navy that I had made. So, it has what? Libertex Basics, Ultramarine Blue, and Black. Arteza, Mars Black. And our topper. <clears throat> All right, don't know the drill. I'm going to blow it out. best blow out there. Mm. Alright, gonna let it rise back up. Let's give it a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get this done.
is just not going that way very far. All right, let's pick it up. Tilt it a little. <laughs> I got some really pretty stuff going on in here, but still need it to go a little further over. I think what I'm really missing on these is no metallics. I need a metallic. back to the middle throw it around <laughs> you will laugh all right let's bring it back to the middle and go off a little bit this way enough. <laughs> now I'm going to bring it back to the middle and we are done. And then we'll get a look with all four of them together. I guess I've just gotten so used to the metallics. Like I always have at least one metallic that, yeah, <laughs> just used to it. That's all. These are really pretty though. I can't wait to see them dry. Looking forward to it. That is good. All right, let me rub the bottoms and then I will bring you in for a close up for all four. All right, here is the first one. Put burgundy down first and then blue. That was without the min wax. Pre wood, pre stain wood conditioner. There is the second one. And here is the third one. Wow, that is really pretty. That's with the the thalo green, or thalo blue, and black. And then this was with both blues and the burgundy. Wow. I think they're all pretty. So they're just all very different. How fun was that? I don't know what I'm going to do on my canvas. I think I may add gold and use both of the blues and the burgundy. Hmm. I think that would be cool. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. No, you need the dried results. So, hold on just a minute, and I will give you the dried results. All right, all right. here is the almost dried results for this. The middle of these is still not quite dry, but I need to go ahead and get this video done because I'm going out of town. And so, yeah, need to get this done. Anyway, it's almost dry. It's just the very, very middle is not dry. So here's the first tile that we did. Or just have the blues, like the, the blue, this just has the navy in it. Still did a kind of a baby blue with the white. Got the lacing stayed really pretty. This one does look kind of like a flower. And then this one does not really look like a flower. <laughs> this is the second one I did. Put the colors down in a different order. Look at that. 
really pretty though. It doesn't look like a flower, but it does look really, really cool. Okay, so here is the third and fourth one that I did where I added the Persian blue also. Then this is the fourth one. It's really cool. I like it with the two blues, but um, I still want more color with this palette, so I'm actually going to add gold and do it with gold with both blues and the burgundy and do a bigger project. So there it is, guys, all four of them. Very, very different, each one. So, so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.